we shall now learn web api with mvc basically what are web api traditionally we know that websites are used to return html for consumption by web browsers but it is also possible to directly return data data means objects so for example i have an object called c student data its object is there instead of couching it inside html i can directly spit the object in xml format or json format for consumption by different clients it could be consumed by a web browser by reading or interpreting the json that is coming from the client it could be consumed also directly by a desktop application so sending data directly from a function and informing others about the existence existence of that function this sum total is called web api apis means functions that are available for use of others so that they can call those functions and get data just like we write int sum int i int j this is some a function that returns an int by adding i and j to the outside world sum is an api the outside world just have to worry about the nature of arguments that it will have to pass and the return directly in this case this api returns a number if this api is hosted over internet then it becomes a web api web services are examples of web api so you can very easily implement your web services through the web api concept of mvc and we are now right now demonstrating how we can use mvc framework that we have learned in this series to implement functions on the internet so that the data can be called either through the xml format or through json format for consumption directly by the clients in the example i've written i wrote int sum something this is returning an object of type int instead of returning an html similarly if you have a c student data object then this object can be directly piped to the client and consumed there this is definitely more efficient because devices can communicate directly for within the uh, with the data this is a customer having a mobile device he needs to know the current weather information so he can query a web server pass suitable parameters and get just the required information four or five fields packed in a data packed in an object now today we shall demonstrate creating a web api project and returning a single c student data object and also returning a list of c student data objects so that collections are also returnable and at the same time displaying them in an html page we can optionally send we'll also show how to optionally send the data in json format and how in xml format so you can take it to be a sort of a web service that will help your clients and also help you because your server has to send little code little little data just the required data so okay we'll start by creating an asp.net web application i have called it web api project 